Well, now hold on a minute there, young blood. You watching Carbon Knights Gaming? Hello, Knights, and welcome back to my Minecraft server. I uh, well, it's not really a server; it's a single-player game. But uh, I'm beside H2O, and as you might notice, we're at the Guardian Farm because I've been doing a lot of digging, so I had to uh, repair my tools. You might also notice this is a little different. I changed a few things in here, not much, but uh, just a little. Uh, for one thing, we put the dispensers on both sides here so that the water comes out equally. Because I noticed when I just had them on one side, most of the items were going into these two hoppers over here. If you could see because of the fire. And that just meant one side was filling up. And also I put these here so you come in and then when you you want to hit the uh, you want to hit the guys or whatever, these will stop you from bouncing back so far. Just a quick little change here, and that's it. But the reason we're out here is so that I can show off my brand new toy, which is an Elytra. I finally got one. I've never had one before. Because as you guys know, the last video I did on this uh, world was the one where I uh, went and killed the Ender Dragon for the first time ever. So, <laughs> needless to say, I never had an Elytra. And you also might notice that my tools are now, well, except for that one. I didn't change the name of that one. But they're called different things now. That's because I lost them all. When I came out of the, uh, the, end, the end portal the first time, I got fucking yeeted right into the void. So, you know, let's see if I can do this. Oh, sometimes I can fly right in. Also, I never designed this with a door this big specifically for this. It just kind of happened, and I'm glad it did. But you might also notice uh, we have a beacon now. And this is trippy as shit here. Ooh, warp speed. And also, you know, I needed to borrow some gold blocks <laughs> for the beacon, so that's where these went on my throne. And uh, the two dragon heads I thought were a nice touch. But I've been doing a lot of digging here in the base, too. We got down to the bottom level that we're going to have. I Oh, yeah, we got more of these. I need to find a new place for these. I just I still have a whole bunch that aren't even, you know, aren't even doing anything. Also, I was just experimenting with colors, see which ones I like. I don't know. That that green's okay, but, like, oh, yeah, and this. I, I also changed all the stuff on the floors, but I realized that the creeper farm is right under here. So I can't put the lights in the floor, so I don't know what I'm actually going to do. I might build, like, a room here just to hide it. Maybe that's where I'll put the smelter or whatever. And yeah, we have an uh, end, whatever these things are called, end flower farm. I just picked something up. Uh, I had to fly 10,000 blocks to get some freaking to find a jungle to get some cocoa beans. And we still got the pumpkin farm the same. But I added another layer here to the sugarcane farm because I need rockets now, so I need a lot of sugarcane. And we have the creeper farm still producing like crazy. It's actually producing a little better now because of the... Uh, um, because I went in and I did a little caving around while I was digging here. And you can hear them dying. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and I lit up a whole bunch of caves around here. As you can see, this whole level's done. This one was barely started last time. Yeah, there's some of those caves I'm talking about over there. This one's done. This one's done. And I we still have the one more, I think. Yeah. And this one's done. And there's our beacon right there. I The beacon sits right on top of bedrock. So I don't think I'll go any deeper. I might dig it down because I kind of want to... I almost want to do black glass for the whole floor, just so it looks cool, like in that pumpkin house and the other one that I, the other, on the multiplayer server I play on. I might do that here and just bring it up to this level. And plus, there's going to be diamonds under here. Like, I found a stack and a half of diamonds just digging out this floor, because it's the only one that's above 12. Or that's, uh, sorry, below 16. So, I might just dig it out for that. I still have to go through this, this cave here in the very back of it there's still some places that are not lit up but for the most part everything around here is and you can really tell when you walk by the creeper farm you can always hear it going now it's all like it's more rare now that 
Um, speaking of which, that had, yeah, because it's right here, which is going to make for an ugly ceiling here too, but that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. But I'm going to just meet you outside because it takes a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I am going to put water elevators in there eventually. I just haven't got around to it. So we got a little bit more of a tree farm here because I needed leaves. And I'll show you that project. It's a work in progress. But we got a lot of stuff in progress now, which is good. We have a cow farm again. That's, so that's nice. And then this sheep, he, now that I had cocoa beans, I finally got him some brown. And there we have a guy over there who trades brown. Oh, I just kind of... Spoiled something for you guys a little bit, but yeah, here's our cow farm because I'm going to eventually all those chests that are inside there are eventually going to have um, well item frames on them so that I don't have to look in 15 chests every time I want to uh, every time I want to do something. So we got these guys farming wheat for us and seeds. I just cleared out the seeds, but it's real simple. I just put a mine card under there, and when they drop stuff on the ground, it picks it up, puts it in the box. And then I take the seeds out and I go put them in the, the composter to make bone meal, which I rarely use except for doing this kind of stuff. And then these guys over here, this was also supposed to be a wheat farm, but um, these idiots just started planting beets. So I switched out all the wheat for beets and there's it's the same thing. The You just go down under there and it just gives you beets and beet seeds. And then these are their little houses. I actually like how they turned out. This one, not as much as uh, the other one, but it's yeah, it's a quaint little hut. And metal doors so they can't get out. And it's just very simple. I put some paintings down because I got... I have a villager that has a lot of paintings. And yeah, it's pretty simple. The water is just under here. And they just go around, pick stuff, and whatever they drop goes into the uh, goes into the mine cart. Usually. Sometimes they pick it up too quick. But it's not 100% efficient. But it works good enough. And yeah, we got a little stack of hay bales over here. Because like I said, it was supposed to be a wheat farm. But... I'm not going to bother changing it because I just realized I didn't. I was going to give these guys a front lawn, and I never did. I will do that at some point, too. This is not a bad little house. I kind of like it. I'm not that great at building little houses. And I, I, I put string here to stop the... Uh, <laughs> in front of the windows to stop the vines growing over it. But this house is a lot better. These guys, I don't know why they won't breed. There's only three of them, but there's four workstations and four or five beds in here. Yeah, five beds, and they just won't breed. I don't know why. I trade with them, and they're happy about it, and still no babies. Oh, well. Maybe one day. We got some extra babies over here from last time. So that's that's good, anyway. And also, I started planning out. I'm going to build a big... I'll, let's fly over, and I'll show you. Just so you can see how big they're going to be. I'm not very good at this yet. There we go. Whoa! What happened? I thought I was in the air! <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yeah, so this will be a library, and then I got a little archery range, and this is going to be like a foundry. I'm going to build like a little... In the first few episodes of Hermitcraft this season... Why do I hear a monster? There must be a hole under here. Anyway, uh, Wells Knight built this little smelter thing. I'm going to build one of those there, and this will just be a little building, so the guys can have... You know, maybe there will be like a blacksmith... This is where I'll put the blacksmith shop. I really, I'm going under there and killing stuff later. Uh, and then we got, this will be an archery range. I'm going to put some targets over there. And then this is where a Fletcher will work. Maybe two of them, because, I don't know, I just like having two of stuff. Uh, this part of it hasn't changed very much, except for we have so many goddamn iron golems now. Like, it is ridiculous. i got to build an iron farm somewhere. But uh, some shit in here got screwed up, too, by the fucking, I had a raid. Ugh. I didn't realize, like, I accidentally got a raid just over there. I'm like, okay, I got the cows, I'll go get, I'll get milk. And when I got to the milk, uh, when I, when I went to milk a cow, it started a raid because I was close enough to the village. So, like, this guy right here, you know, I haven't traded with him. That's because the other Mason guy, uh, I don't know where he is. He's full. He's got a diamond, though, on his belt. And, uh, he freaking, Ugh. He just he won't go back to work because that guy's there because that guy stole his workspace. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change that around. But made a nice little smoker's hut here, which I also I think that same dude was stealing this. Oh, I guess it's bedtime. <laughs> the other, that other dude was stealing this smoker's hut for his own work, and it pissed me off. But I got him sorted out, and I think he's the other Mason guy now. 
which sucks, but you know, I like this little house. It's real short, but I think it worked out okay. I like the little, you know, it's got the little pokies up there, and it's got a tiny little chimney that kind of doesn't work, but really does. I mean, you can see the flames coming out. That's the only thing that doesn't really work about it, but I like the way the landscape is coming along, and it's, it's my own little design, so I like it. And the interior, I thought the interior came out really well in this one. I don't really do interiors that well, but this one I really liked. And then this church, I used a, I used a template for this church, but it was made out of like cobblestone and stuff. I changed it around. I think it looks really nice, but uh, I'll put a link to the thing in the description for it. But yeah, you come up here. I made a little library. Hi there, bud. Is this where you've been? I lost this guy a while ago. Okay, dude. Good, good to know you're back. I thought you were dead or something. Yeah, he's got a little bell up here. But that's that's it for there. And then I put a little shift sign for their little library. And I, I guess this is our god now. I just thought it was funny putting the painting there. We got some more paint. This one looked religious vaguely. And that one looks like a Greek statue. So, you know. Put it there. Yeah, so we... Oh, no. This dude stole his bed. What an asshole. All right, well. But yeah, I thought this little church turned out okay. The stained glass and stuff. Kind of like that. And I have no idea why I decided to go with green glass for the rest of the uh, the things. But let's just get back to daytime so nobody gets killed in the middle of the night like it'll happen. Yeah, so I can't believe that cleric dude has a... He's, somebody stole his bed. But I'm also going to do some... I'm going to do some... I'm going to vine this up a bit and stuff too. I really like the vines. I don't know if you could tell with the other buildings. But, uh, yeah, I just got one more, uh, well, I'll talk about one project I haven't started yet, except for, uh, I flattened out this mountain to put a lighthouse, and then, for some reason, I also did this one. But, I think I'll just take maybe most of this down, just so it has a nice little, whoa, <laughs> a nice little path to the mountain, or to the other one, like, to the lighthouse when it's there. I think that'll be good. And then... You know, because then you can see it better, too. So I think I'll continue taking this down. But I think I started here doing it, and I was like, wait, it makes more sense to put a lighthouse closer to the shore. So that's what I did there. And then this, I'm stuck on this, really. But I really like the way it's coming along so far. Um, this is supposed to be like a Hanging Towers of Babylon type thing. Let's see if I can land here. Hey, I did it. Uh, I like it so far. I really like it. I got to put more, uh, whoops. Oh, and then I screwed everything up. <laughs> I got to put more, uh, more pillars and stuff in that I'm not stuck on. I just haven't done it, but yeah, it's going to go all the way around. It's going to have three stories. I've, why can I not stay up on this thing? Anyway, it's going to have three different stories on it. Uh, they'll each get smaller on the way up. And I want to put like, uh, like a menagerie of animals in here too. So I want to go collect like all the animals around and then say like this area here would be, I'll probably keep that waterfall. I'm, I'm going to have the water flowing down from the top too. So like it'll come down and attach into this one, but I might keep this waterfall all the way here just because it looks nice. <laughs> I don't, and I don't know. I'm, I'm going to build walls over here in this area. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to build entire walls in between these things, but at least on the front and these sides here will have some kind of wall in between. I don't know what to do yet, so if you have any ideas, let me know. But yeah, I'm just going to build... So, like, this area will be maybe, like, forest, and then maybe, maybe like, jungle over here in this one, and then, you know, maybe we even do a snowy biome kind of thing. Like, that's what's going to happen. And then... Yeah, so where that is is going to be another pillar, and then they'll go the exact same as they're spread out along them, all the way across. Like, it's not going to have the little front yard that this one has on the back. Oh, come on, fish. You're better than that. Idiot. They get out because there's a little pond over here. <laughs> so there's supposed to be a whole bunch of fish in here, but they keep... Well, there's. I think that's one. No, that's not one. That might be the last fish in there. Okay. Well, because what, yeah, what happens is they'll swim up here and then they, they pop out. But I don't know. I really like this landscaping that I did. And that's a custom tree. I'm not tooting my own horn. I just, I never do landscaping, but I thought it, well, not in game. I do in real life. I, I like to do gardens and shit like that. But 
I think it turned out really well. And all the all the stuff is set. It has string on top of it, except for the vines. Like, the vines can grow, but everything else, if it can grow, it has strings on it. That's the height I want it. That's the height it'll stay. It's turning out really good so far. I'm just kind of stuck with what to do for the second, third level. But, for like I said, if you have any ideas, let me know. I wanted to do, like, a big arch here, and I tried it, and it looked so bad. Ugh. But, you know, that's okay. Next on my list, though, I think before I finish this, I'm going to need a squid farm. And I'm going to build it just over... There's, like, a big desert past the mountains over there. There's looked like there was a good spot, but... That'll be one of my next projects before I get this finished. I'm just doing this just, like, when I feel inspired by it kind of thing. I'm really hoping it turns out good, because... I've already really worked hard on it. <laughs> like, this took a long time. That's, uh, all this quartz. The first four pillars, I mined it all. But then the rest, I've been trading just with the, uh, the masons over here. They, uh, yeah, see? Like, this guy stole the other guy's workstation, so I think it's probably this one. I bet we can get rid of him right now. Watch out there, punk. Oh, that was laggy. Okay, yeah, he went to go try to find himself a new job. So maybe we, if we put this back, maybe his buddy will come back. Although I think maybe we'd have to coerce him over here, but... Anyway, I bet the other guy's just going to come back and be a mason again. But yeah, that's it for now. Hopefully in the next one we have a lot more to show. Oh, these guys are having babies! I'm going to steal that baby and go put it over there. I mean, um... Adopted out to a loving family. Let's watch this. Let's get kinky. Yeah. You like my love? What? Oh. They didn't like us watching. You goddamn perverts. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time, knights. Hey, thanks for sticking around till the end. We appreciate you watching every one of our videos. And if you want to get a hold of us outside of YouTube, all of our social media links are in the description below. If you want to become a knight, why don't you go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And as always, keep those shields up.